Hello everyone, welcome to today's flow class. We'll be doing a little bit more heart opening, uh, shoulders opening poses today. So basically it's back bends. We're not going to go that deep, but of course, if you have a strong back bend practice and you know going deeper naturally comes to you, then feel free to take deeper options. So same thing, I'll give options along the way. Just see how it feels for you today. If you want to go a little deeper or you're happy at staying with the foundation poses that I'm going to lay out for you. Okay, so let's all come into standing to start. Stand at the top of your mat. Feet together, heels and toes to touch. Together, stretch your arms up, inhale. Exhale, fall forward, hands to the ground. Inhale, look halfway up, lengthen. Fold forward again as you exhale. Inhale to rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, arms down by your side. Two more, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lift the chest halfway, inhale, fold forward, exhale, inhale, reach your arms to the sky, exhale, arms down by your side, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold forward, half lift, inhale, fold forward, exhale, Inhale to rise. Exhale, arms down by your side. Inhale, arms up, sun salutation. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Walk or hop back plank. Either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Cobra, up dog. Down the dog, exhale. Breathe in, exhale five, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale one. Soften your knees, walk or hop to the front of your mat. Half lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale to rise, come all the way up the step. Exhale, arms down by your side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, inhale. Walk or hop back. Vinyasa through and we'll meet in down with the breath in exhale five inhale exhale four inhale exhale three inhale exhale two Inhale, exhale up. Soften your knees, look forward, walk or hop front. Half lift, inhale, fold forward, exhale. Inhale all the way up to stand. Exhale, arms down by your side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, inhale, vinyasa through, as you exhale, we're only in down with the breathe, exhale five, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale three, Inhale, 
exhale two inhale exhale one soften your knees look forward walk a hop side half lift inhale fold forward exhale inhale reach your arms all the way up to sky exhale arms down by your side bend your knees chair pose inhale fold forward exhale inhale lift the chest walk or hop back vinyasa through my arm in down with down lift the right leg up open up the hips inhale knee to your nose exhale round your spine circle your knee open up the hips inhale knee to right tricep exhale inhale circle your knee open up the hips knee to your left tricep squeeze inhale circle your knee open up the hips knee to your nose step to right foot forward drop your left knee down point your left toes to the back as you reach your arms up grab your opposite elbows remember which elbow is on top of the other one Take an inhale breath, lift your chest. Pull the bones of the elbows back as you exhale. Breathe into the front of your chest. Lengthen your spine, chin up, chest up. Keep lifting from your lower back. Curl your upper body towards the back. Open up the front of your chest. Take another inhale breath. Go a little deeper as you exhale. Release your hands to your mat. Left hand stays. Tuck the back toes under. Lift the knee and reach your right arm up to sky. Breathe. Exhale five. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale two, inhale, exhale one. Release the right hand now. Grab your blocks if you need. Ground the back foot flat. Extend both your legs. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, fold forward as you exhale. Breathe. Exhale five. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale one. Bend your knees. Step back. Bend your knees. Lift the left leg up. Open up the hips. Inhale. Knee to your nose. Exhale. Squeeze. Inhale. Open up the hips. Knee to left. Tricep. Exhale. Inhale. Open up the hips. Knee to your right. Tricep. Inhale. Lift the right left leg up. Exhale. Knee to your nose. Step your foot forward in between your hands. Drop your right knee down. Reach your arms to the sky. Grab the elbows the opposite way. So your other forearm on top. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. As you exhale, use your hands to pull your elbows back. Maintain the chest lifting. Chin up slightly. Open the front of the throat. But don't throw your head all the way to the back. Keep lifting from your lower back. Keep lengthening through your spine. Sink your hips down deeper. Feel your right thigh stretching. Take another inhale breath. Go a little deeper as you exhale. Release your hands now. Right hand stays. Lift the knee. Twist to your left side and reach your left arm up to the sky. Breathe. 
exhale five inhale exhale four inhale exhale three inhale exhale two inhale exhale one release your left hand down ground both the feet flat lengthen your spine take an inhale breath fold forward as you exhale breathe exhale five inhale exhale four inhale exhale three inhale exhale two inhale exhale one lift the chest bend your knees step back vinyasa through Soften your knees, look forward, walk or hop front. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, chair pose with your arms up. Join your palms to your chest, inhale. Exhale, twist to your right side. Knees together, big toes together. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and twist back to chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Separate your feet. Hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Soften your knees. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Belly to your thigh. Breathe. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale one, release your hands to your mat, join your feet together, bend your knees, chair pose, stretch your arms up, join your palms to your chest, drop your hips down lower, twist to your left side. Elbow outside your thigh, knees together, drop your hips down lower, five, four, three, two, one, and twist back to chair pose, fold forward, exhale, half lift, inhale, walk or hop back, Vinyasa through. Lift the right leg up. Open up the hips. Foot forward. Left knee down. Reach your arms up. Open to your right side. Open up your arms. Right hand either on your lower back or slide it down to your hamstring. Reach your left arm over your heel. Bend your front knee, push down into your right hand, wherever it is, to help you lift your chest up. And as you do so, you can look up, you can look down towards your mat, whichever that helps you find a better balance. And then as you lift the chest up, keep reaching your left arm towards the back. Feel that nice twist in the spine and a good side stretch along the left side of your body here. Take another inhale breath. Go a little deeper as you exhale. Reach your right arm back up to the sky. Join your palms to your chest. Inhale. Exhale, twist to your right side. Elbow outside your thigh. Option one, keep the back knee down. Option two, tuck the back toes under and lift the knee off the floor. If you want to go deeper in terms of splitting the arms, or binding, go ahead, stay there, five, four, 
three, two, one. Release your hands down. Three leg dog. Lift the right leg back up to the sky. Open up the hips. One thing. Touch the ball of your right foot down. Reach up and over with your right arm. Left leg is straight. Right heel is off the ground. Open up your chest towards the sky. Look down. Three leg dog. Lift the right leg up. Come forward. Three leg plank. Bend the arms. Chaturanga. Right foot down. Up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Lift the left leg up. Open up the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Knee to your nose. Step your left foot forward. Right knee down. Reach your arms to the sky. Open your body to your left. Split your arms. Left palm to your back, or slide it down towards your right thigh. Reach your right arm over your head. Think deeper into your hips. Make sure your front knee isn't turning out. You want your front knee to point straight to the front. As you sink your hips low, with every exhalation, can you slide your left hand down closer to the back of your knee or towards the calf? Lengthen the side body. Stretch your right arm further away from your left thigh. Take another inhale breath. Go a little deeper as you exhale. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Hands to your heart. Exhale, twist to your left side. Option one. Stay here, knee down. Option two, tuck the back toes. Straighten the back knee off the ground. So wherever you are, do the same as what you did before. If you split your arms or you went into a bind, go ahead and do so. Five, four, three. Two. And one. Release your hand to your mat. Lift the knee. Three leg dog. Open up the hips. Touch the ball of your left foot down. Wow thing. Reach up and over with your left arm. Straighten the right leg. Bend your left knee. Three. Two. And one. Look back down. Three leg dog. Lift the left leg up to the sky. Come forward. Three leg plank. Bend your arms. Both feet down to the ranga. Up dog. Inhale. Exhale. Down with dog. Soften your knees. Look forward. Walk a hop to the front. Off the mat. Half lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, chair pose, reach your arms up. Your left arm under your right, eagle your arms. Cross your right thigh over your left thigh. You can double wrap the ankle if possible. If it's hard, just point your toes to the side. Now, drop your hips down, take an inhale breath. Twist to your right side, lock your eagle arms outside your right thigh. Open up the chest. Five. Bend your left knee. Sit deeper. Four. Belly away from your thigh. Three. Two. And one. Feet together. And twist back to chair pose. Reach your arms up. Cross your right arm under. Left thigh over. Drop your hips down. And twist to your left side. Squeeze your thighs, whoops. Turn your chest more to your left. Draw your belly in towards the spine. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Feet together. Back to chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift. Inhale. Walk or hop back. Vinyasa through. Mm. 
Lift the right leg up. Open up the hips. Step your right foot in between your hands. Drop your left knee down. Reach your arms up. Now, bend your right arm. Palm in between the shoulder blades. Option one, hold the elbow. Option two, if you can bind, come into a bind. If you cannot bind, just keep holding on to your elbow. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, turn your body to your left and stretch towards your left side. So think of it as a side stretch. You are lifting your chest, you are lengthening, and you are leaning back, feeling that nice stretch on your left quadricep, your psoas, and the right side of your body. Take another inhale breath. Go a little deeper as you exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale here. Tuck the back toes under, hug the ribs in. Tuck the back toes under, high lunge. Lift your back knee off the floor. Open your body to your right side. Bend your front knee 90. Right palm either to your lower back or to your left hamstring. Reach your left arm over your head. Straighten the back leg. Bend your front knee. Five. Four. Keep leaning back. Three. Can you walk your right hand to the back of your left knee? Two. And one. Reach your right arm up to sky. Release your hands down to the mat. Reach your right arm back. Bend your left knee. Open the foot out or roll onto the outer edge of the foot. Or lower your left forearm down. Twist towards the side. Pull your heel towards the bum because we are going to get into either mummy pose or king pigeon. So we're opening up the shoulders. We are stretching the quads opening up the hips as well one more breath twist a little deeper and really hands down vinyasa through lift the left leg up open up the hips inhale Step your left foot forward in between your hands. Drop your right knee down. Reach your arms up. Bend your left elbow. Hold on to the left elbow with the right hand. Right arm, if you can reach to a bind, you go into a bind. If cannot, that's fine. Turn your entire body to your right side. Take an inhale breath and stretch towards your right side. As you stretch towards the right side, Feel the left side of your body lengthening and you're reaching the left rib cage away from your left thigh. Press your hips down. Lengthen your spine. You might find your breath shortening a little. Just whatever you can, continue to breathe. Two more breaths. One more breath. Slowly untwist, reach your arms back up to sky. Keep the ribs in, lift the pelvis slightly, tuck the back toes, draw tailbone down, and lift the back knee, high lunge. Open your body to your side, left side. Left palm to your right thigh. Right arm stretch over your head and continue to reach. Straighten right leg, bend left knee. Lift chest, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach your left arm up, inhale, exhale, hands down to your mat. Drop your right knee to the floor, left arm up, and then reach back, find your foot. Open the front foot if you choose. Go deeper, lower your right forearm down. Open up your chest to lift the sky. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
two and one release your hands down step back vinyasa through Lift the right leg up, open up the hips. Step your right foot in between your hands. Drop your left knee down. Stretch your arms to the sky. Option one, same thing, hand back and reach back. Option two, you are gonna bend your left knee. Pick up the foot and then sink your hips down. Those of you who can go deeper, slide your foot towards the elbow crease and come into mermaid variation. Open your chest forward, open up the sides of your body towards the front. So whether you're doing a side stretch or you're going into a mermaid variation, you will still feel a deep stretch in your left quadricep. In your back bends, quads are quite important. The tighter the quads are, the more restriction you have doing uh, in your lower back or in your spine when you're going to do a back bend. Take another inhale breath. Go a little deeper as you exhale. Good. Release your hands down to your mat. Tuck the back toes under and slide your hips back. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Five, stretch your hamstring. Four, three, two, and one. Lift the chest, rebend your right knee. Now adjust your right knee underneath your, uh, on top of your right ankle. So both knees 90, 90 degrees. So instead of sinking your hips down, lift the pelvis, come to 90 90 for both knees. Place your hands in your thigh, lift your chest up. Your left hand, turn your body to your left. Your left hand will reach for your left heel. Okay, once you're there, you're gonna reach your right arm up. And turn your chest towards the sky and look up. If you can go deeper, straighten the right leg, right foot flat. Drive your hips up, lift through your chest. Five, four, feel your left quads working here. Three, turn your left ribcage up more. Two, and one, turn your chest down and slowly come out of the pose. Step back, and yasa through. Lift the left leg up, open up the hips, inhale. Knee to your nose, exhale, step your left foot forward, drop your right knee down, point your toes back. Lift your arms, inhale, exhale, open up, either hand to your thigh, reach, or bend your back knee, pick up your foot, heel towards the elbow crease. Once you're there, turn your chest forward, so square your torso towards the front. If you're in the mermaid variation, get your left elbow directly behind your head, chest up, and push the left arm back with your, with your head. So as you push back, can you feel how much you're really opening through the front of your body? Two more breaths. One more breath. And release your hands down slowly, no rush. Tuck the back toes, let's just extend your front leg, stretch a little, lengthen your heel. Fold forward as you exhale. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, lift the chest. Now adjust, bend knee, 90-90. Hands on your left thigh. 
turn your torso to your right, reach right hand to your heel. Now your left knee doesn't turn in. Point your left knee forward. So when you do something else, don't forget about the foundation of your pose. And then from here, reach your left arm up. Think of matrix like you want to matrix and turn your chest up to the sky. Look up. If you can balance, then you walk your left foot forward. Good. Lift the right hip higher. Lift the right rib cage higher. Five. Four. Three. Squeeze the upper back. Two. And one. Look down. Slowly repeat. Lift the knee. Then yasa through. Lift the right leg up, open up the hips, inhale. Right knee behind your right wrist, pigeon. Move your right foot forward as much as you can, giving you a deeper stretch along the right side of your hip. But not on the ground. So later when you practice your king pigeon on your mummy, you want to learn how to lift the right butt cheek away from the floor. Lengthen, inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Lift your chest up, hands underneath your shoulders. Lift the back knee, roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Right foot towards your inner left thigh if possible. Side plank with your tree pose and reach your right arm up. Option one, stay here. Option two, go into a back bend. Open up the chest, open up the hips for three, two, one, keep the tree if you can. Come forward to plank, press the thigh up, vinyasa through. Right foot down. Left leg up, open up the hips. Pigeon. Left knee behind your wrist, flex your foot. Inhale, lengthen. Fold forward as you exhale. Lift the knee, the ground the outer edge of your back foot down, foot to your inner thigh, tree pose, reach your left arm to the sky. Stay or get into a back bend, open your hips up like you're doing a wild thing. Three, two, and one, left hand down, keep your tree, vinyasa through. Right leg up, open up the hips. Pigeon, right knee, right wrist. Left leg straight to the back. Now if your right butt tends to roll down towards the ground, 
pick up a block and sit on the block instead. Lift the chest. Option one, stay here. Option two, you're going to reach your left hand towards the left thigh and reach your right arm over your head. Option three, bend your back knee, foot to the elbow crease, interlace your fingers, square your torso forward. For those of you who have Kapotasana, Raja Kapotasana, full king pigeon, you take full king pigeon pose. Wherever you are, lift the chest. So even if your hands are just onto the ground, continue to lift the chest, pull the shoulders back, and keep the right butt cheek off the ground. Wherever you are, two more breaths. Slowly release, hands down towards your mat, step back, downward dog. Stay in your downward dog or cycle through a vinyasa you choose. Left leg up, open up the hips, inhale. Pigeon, knee to your wrist, extend your right leg to the back. So if king pigeon is something or pigeon or mermaid is something that uh, you want to work on for today's tutorial we'll touch a little bit more about getting into mermaid pose and how to get the shoulder to rotate in king pigeon if you're gonna open out your arms go ahead hand down reach make sure you're not leaning to the left you're gonna lift away so if it's hard to lift away watch the tutorial today or pick up a block for now, place your left butt cheek onto the block. So if you want to learn how to be more upright, engaging the core. If you're going into mermaid or king pigeon, go ahead, turn the right side of your body forward, square the body forward, draw your ribs in, keep the chest up in your back bend. Wherever you are, two more breaths. And slowly release out of the pose. Hands under your shoulder, downward dog, step back. Option one, stay in your downward dog. Option two, one, vinyasa. Look forward, jump through, take a seat, lie down onto your back. So we're gonna go for either bridge or wheel pose, either two bridge or two wheel pose. Lie down onto your back everyone, we follow my counts, okay? Make sure your fingers can touch the feet, your heels, feet hip width, ready? Three, two, one, either bridge or wheel pose. Hands under, if you're doing bridge, interlace your fingers. If you're doing wheel, press your palms beside your ears and come up into your wheel pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Chin the chest, come all the way down. If you're going to do wheel for the second time, see if you can walk your feet closer to your hands. Wherever you are, in three, two, one, and lift up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly repeat together open your knees up like a butterfly 
if you're still finishing your drop backs or your or your drop or your wheel to stand up, just take your time to finish, okay? Make sure there is space behind you. You're gonna lift the legs up. You can watch first if you like. Into plow. Hands support your back. If your feet don't touch the floor, please keep your hands on your back. If your toes can touch your mat, you can extend your arms or interlace your fingers. To come out, press your palms flat. Head and shoulders stay on the floor. Use your core strength and slowly come all the way down okay ready stretch your legs up place your hands behind your back if your toes are on your mat feel free to interlace your fingers as you release your hands down extend your legs please don't turn your head side to side if your feet cannot touch the floor just support hands on your lower back and let your legs hover in the air. Place your palms flat. Slowly lower your hips down. Legs all the way down. Bend your right knee. Cross your knees or bend both the knees. Cross your right knee over your left. Drop your knees to your left side, reach your right arm to the right, close your eyes. Back to the center, left thigh over, drop your hips to the left, stretch your knees, or drop your knees to your right, stretch your left arm out, and close your eyes. Come back to the center, hug your knees to your chest, give yourselves a big squeeze. Shavasana, extend your arms and your legs, palms face up, close your eyes. Slowly awaken your body, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slide your feet together, stretch your arms over your head, cross your thumbs, give yourselves a big stretch. Bend your knees to your chest. As you roll to your side, keep the eyes closed. Use your hands to push yourself up, find a comfortable seat. Join your palms together in front of your chest, closing the practice together. Take a deep breath in, chest to your thumbs. Exhale, bow your chin down. Slowly open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you all for sharing your heart-opening practice with me. Enjoy the rest of the day and see you tomorrow.